Eden, where we might never see Elika again. Sadly. A sweet smile rose across Elika's face. Um, yeah, she is disobeying. Her long skirt flowed lightly through the air. And at the same time, her slender fur sunk. Fist sunk into the back of one of the shoulders, soldier's hand, which held the rifle. The soldier cried out and dropped his rifle. As you're trying to make this look so intense, Elika took another step. Took another step. St stomped her foot onto the carpet. Spun around and drove her elbow like a, like an arrow into the pit of the man's stomach. Well, now we know she can uh, at least hold her own. He for, he fortuned at the he fo frothed at the mouth, and the pitiful soldier collapsed. As his eyes rolled up into his head. The two soldiers picked the, uh, panicked and quickly pointed their rifles towards the girl. Elika laughed quietly. They reacted light to this unexpected situation. Fear. Too late. Far too late. The girl sneered at the soldiers who were supposed to be professionals at combat. She knocked away the barrels of the guns, pointed at her, and swung her leg again no sooner than, than it had touched the ground. Are you sure she's not carrying like fucking knives and shit? Her skirt fla uh, flapped up and request levels. Yet the shoulder, the sol <laughs> soldiers let out a cry of natural surprise nor pleasure. <laughs> Elika's long limbed lumber legs extended and her. Heels sunk into the soldier's jaw before he finished his scream. <laughs> Without looking at the falling soldier, Elika giggled as she turned to face the last one standing. Dude, you have a clean shot! Friendly fire was a concern in such a close quarters, so he could not easily fire on her. They should have set, it, set an entire platoon, or perhaps sent it more skilled soldiers, if they truly wanted to restrain her. Dude, you still have a clean shot. Why are you not taking the shot? You could at least disarm her and take out her shoulder or hit a lung or something. Like the hell. It's at least something. Then again, Major Inaba likely didn't consider that a maid would resist. Much less that she would overpower his subordinates. Oh god, you know that's horrifying.
予定を繰り上げるだけですなんとかなるでしょう OK 予定予定って何だ You're playing the saver, aren't you? I'm not going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. She's also so calm about this, too. I'm going to go to the house. 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 Well, either way, she might either kick your ass or not care and maybe kick your ass later. And their ass as well. The line of remi remaining soldier could only tremble like a new recruit before the gr grinning looming girl. Well then, this is going to be entertaining. They had conveniently collapsed right where they were was. A blind spot in it, in the surveillance network. Three soldiers were piled on top of one another. I recognized their faces, but couldn't recall their names. Okay, this is gonna be um entertaining. <laughs> Going out of my way to check for breathing. And pulse was unnecessary. They didn't seem to be breathing, uh, bleeding. Either ha had they been struck by something or suffered a surprise attack. Yep, it looks like surprise attack. I could afford to ignore this. It was certain that some trouble has transpired. Yes! As I was about to walk away, I noticed something had been left beside the falling soldiers. A laundry basket. There was a dress inside. Dear God. God damn it. At the very moment, the answer came from my mind, and a boundlessly cheerful voice reached my ears. Bing bong. Dear God, a cheerful, vo a cheerful and although peace plays voice, abruptly res resounded through the quiet office. Inaba, who had been looking all over the documents, and Levi, who had been staring aimlessly out the window, both snapped their heads. Entertaining. I wasn't. I was thinking of a few situations, but the this could be one. Of, this could lead up to it. Inaba nodded, reached for the PC on his desk, and opened a com channel, communication channel. Hey, I pressed the wrong button. Well, she is intelligent, due to the bloodline, in theory. He could get through the, the squad. He could get through the squad that was surprised, supposed to have upper-handed Elika. If he could hear Elika go happy-go-lucky voice over the the facility's speaker, then it was evaded. Something had happened to the squad. Well, 
Oh god. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so, is it time to defuse the bomb? Well, there's a couple of options. Either get everyone out of there, or try to defuse the bomb. Well played. Inaba side. As he is, as he fumbled with the with his uh, workstation. Only the com commanding officer of the facility, Inaba, himself could have uh, activated this the device. That's how it should have been, but the emergency shutdown code Inaba knew was not being accepted. The program had attempted, apparently been rewritten somehow. Well then, this is going to be um, entertaining. Uh, well, yeah. Well, who are you going to get? Well, it depends. If it kills the girl, then we're all fucked. If the data is destroyed, we're still fucked. The broadcast ended with a snap. Next, fill an incredible silence. I don't know. Clever. あの、メイドさん、思っていたより遥かに手強いらしい。さすが、伊達に長生きしてないということか。Well, Everyone's to, going to take to take cover, obviously. Oh, yes. In Inaba immediately opened the common system and began to advise all squads and personnel without within the building to evacuate. That was the one and only thing the man in charge could do. Well, it makes sense. If you can't get the bomb to defuse, then you need to get everyone out stat. <laughs> Inaba was connecting so much... Contracting so much in the given direction that he had no notice Levi had disappeared. Oh, yeah. Well, it wasn't the commotion. She has a smart cookie. She know what to do. I could hear music. Oh, this might be her um, final moments. That gentle metal, metal yeah, shit. No, 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 no. 
the gentlemanly, comfor comfortably streaming from the radio, had somewhat solemn tone to it. Almost sounded like it began. It's beginning at the funeral. Well, yeah, because I would say uh, something else at the end of this episode. So I'll see all you guys next time. And I hope all of you have a great wolf a day. And please don't say anything on fire yet. So see you guys next time. Have a fine day.